Sonic has something delicious for you. Hey, announcer guy, that's your cue. Try the new Super Sonic Double Stack Cheeseburger. Two juicy pure seasoned beef patties and two types of cheddar cheese, topped with grilled onions, crinkle cut pickles, creamy mayo, and classic mustard on a toasted brioche bun. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm definitely craving that previously mentioned thing. Super Sonic Double Stack Cheeseburger. Mmm, Sonic. Limited time only at participating Sonic drive -ins. For the first time in studio, Alex Simmons, Memphis women's basketball coach. What was it about this job that made it the right one for your next step? Um, well, obviously winning helps. Um, when you see a program that's on the way up, um, the success that they had in the postseason in the NIT. Tune in to the Jessica Benson Show with C.J. Hurt live every weekday at 8 a.m. on YouTube at Grind City Media and the official Grind City Media app. Happy Star Wars Day. Is it? It is. Yeah, May the 4th. May, May the, 4th. the 4th be with you. Yeah. Happy Star Wars Day. Happy, happy Star Wars Day. What, okay. how, how, how did we celebrate such a thing? Uh, I mean, we'll probably, you know, put on a movie tonight or something like You'll that. You'll put on a movie the, tonight? Yeah, the kids are into, the kid, kids are into it. So You'll yeah. watch the Star Wars tonight? Of course. I don't know which, which movie, but... Yeah. I haven't seen them all. The Gary Parrish Show, live weekdays at 10 a.m. on YouTube at Grind City Media and the official Grind City Media app. Taco Bell has all the flavors you're craving. Your favorite melty, crunchy, grilled spicy flavors like tacos, nachos bel grande, quesadillas, crunch wraps, burritos, and more are all available when the mood strikes. Order them ahead on the Taco Bell app for quick contactless pickup in the drive-thru or get them delivered right to your door. Want more? Join the team and eat for free. Apply at jobs.tacobell.com today. Hours of participation may vary by location. Additional terms and fees may apply. Isaiah Bolden, out of Jackson State, cornerback slash return man out of Jackson State. He was drafted in this year's NFL draft. What do you think the uh, Patriots are getting in Isaiah Bolden? A guy that's uh, that's certainly willing to make his name on special teams and in a special teams unit. Get all of your HBCU sports and culture news by tuning in to HBCU Huddle with CJ Hurt and Mike Wallace. New episodes drop every Thursday on GrindCityMedia.com, YouTube, and Spotify. This is the Nike Air foot, Footscape Woven. Yep. Yep. So this is kind of too. a lifestyle running shoe. Yep. That's sold out? Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. These have resale those, value, too. Oh, yeah. those have resale value yeah. on it. Footscapes yeah. are comfortable. Footscapes are so comfortable. I love they comfortable. They're so they're comfortable. comfortable. Light. They're, they're hideous breathable. to look at, but they are yeah. so comfortable. It's a cow. Yeah. It's, 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 <laughs> it's nah, they're, they're comfortable. <laughs> the top like area. Don't look at that the particular one. Yeah. The Sneak Fest Show, live Tuesdays at 2 p.m. on YouTube at Grind City Media and the official Grind City Media app. The summer concert experience of a lifetime. My name is Erica Badu. With the Grammy Award winning Erica Badu. Erica Badu, like you've never seen her before. The music, the vibe of Erica Badu. With special guest Yasin Bey. The M Follow Me Tour with Erica Badu. July 21st at FedEx Forum. Tickets on sale now at Ticketmaster.com. Chris Stapleton's All-American Roadshow. August 24th at FedEx Forum. With special guests Marcus King and Alan Stone. On sale now at LiveNation.com. Chris Stapleton's All-American Roadshow. I got a free pick. Can free I throw pick. This out oh, there? that's right. A college football free pick. I think LSU is going to be really good this year. Mm -hmm. You can get LSU plus 500 to win the SEC. Plus 500 to win yeah. the SEC. Yeah. Georgia's minus one something. Alabama's like plus 200 something because it's Alabama. But I, I think LSU might be the value there. The Odds Couple with Rob Fisher, Lang Whitaker, John Roser, and CJ Hurt live Thursdays at 2 p.m. on YouTube at Grind City Media and the official Grind City Media app. At Mountain Dew, we'd like to remind you that the world as we know it would not exist without the number zero. Which is why, at Mountain Dew, we'd like to recognize the number zero for making Mountain Dew Zero Sugar possible. Even with no sugar, it packs all of the bold citrus kick Dew Nation knows and loves. It's so good, you have no reason not to try it. As in zero. Get it? Crack open an ice-cold Mountain Dew Zero Sugar. It's zero sugar. All do. 
live from downtown Memphis, this is The Chris Vernon Show, presented by Caesar Sportsbook on YouTube at Grind City Media and the official Grind City Media app. Now, here's your host, Chris Vernon. GrindCityMedia.com. It's Chris Farnan. Show. Welcome, 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 welcome. It is the Monday, May 15th, 2023 edition to the show. Today on the show, anybody have any interesting things happen over the weekend? We will get to the events of the weekend, including the franchise player for your Memphis Grizzlies. In addition to that... We now have the Easter Conference Finals and the Western Conference Finals set for the NBA. So the Final Four is set in those. We will get to that. We will get to all the news and notes from the weekend, some including Memphis Tiger standout. We've got some NFL news we're going to get to. Coaching news in the NBA. we got a ton to get to. Dramatic weekend, to say the least. It's a Monday. The sun is out. Smile, let's do it. Turn it up! having a good day all right uh we have a ton of things to get to on the show today uh hope everybody had a good mother's day yesterday um i intentionally stayed away from social media after the morning's events as to have a uh, good mother's day which was a very good mother's day and i was glad i got to spend the time uh with my mom uh yesterday but man oh man we come back on a monday and not the topics that we necessarily were hoping to talk about at all before i get into anything i welcome john roser to the show John Roser, a.k.a. the Cologne Ranger, the Body Spray Bandit, Senior Sex, a.k.a. Jenna Beck, Rose of America, a.k.a. the Grim Roser, John Asparagus, Johnny Nick Carb, a.k.a. Yogi Roser. What up? Yasil Puig in another league. Devin Walker series, the microphone mangler, Senor Quasadilla, Mr. Mash. He's Navajo Joe. He's the archivist. Can we add another AKA? I'm officially a DJ. A DJ? I'm applying for my next job as a DJ, and I have a ponytail today, too. Ponytail. Wait, what did you say? You're applying to be a DJ? Yeah, I'm applying to be a DJ. That's my next job. Where did you DJ? Uh, so I've DJed the in three pool? different locations in the past, like, two weekends, and I've gotten a three out of three five stars uh, reviews from like people. Like, DJed or, like, plugged no, just in ox, the ox? Just ox, you know. You just picked songs? That's not that's Yeah, not a, cute that's songs. That's not called... Uh, that's I mean, not I guess nowadays it is. Yeah, that's no, and, and the people were like, yo, you did a really good job picking the music. And oh I was God. like, yes, yeah, go. Oh, God. So, yeah, I, I'm applying for... <laughs> look, at, look at Devin Diplo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, stay tuned, bro. I'll be DJing in, uh, at a local spot near you. Kelsey Wright Johnson's here. She is Brampton's finest. She is the Nordstrom Rack Trap Queen. She is the ketchup chip connoisseur, Puerto Rico's favorite reporter. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We got a lot of stuff to get to. Let's get to 10 things. 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 No. 
Not the Sunday morning anybody wanted yesterday morning. I I am an early riser, and it was one of those times where I greatly regret being an early riser. I, I would have rather my day gone on a little bit before I checked my telephone. I went, got my coffee, grabbed my phone. I was like, all right, let's see what's going on. <laughs> and immediately... Silly Billy. There was like a pit in my stomach because I see John Morant shown flashing a gun on Instagram and my first reaction was no way <laughs> like no no way and then of course I press play on the video and I'm like are you serious and you can see DTAP move the phone away as they're bobbing and weaving in the car and the gun flies up and the phone goes away, but it's too late because at that point, um, everybody's got the screen caps of it. And two, just massively regrettable screen caps already uh, in the last couple of months. Now, so my first reaction was no way. My second reaction was, um, Oh look, no way lasted a long time. Like where you're just like this 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 cannot be. And then my second reaction was no lie. The second thing I thought was I I feel really bad for Zach Kleiman, Taylor Jenkins, those players, all those guys because we just left like two and a half, three weeks ago, and them all sitting up at a podium. And I will tell you that both on the record and off the record, like, they believed that he was taking the right steps to, right, like, to, and, and, they, and they went out there and they said, you know, it's an ongoing process, but, you know, and, and from everything that I gathered, they had all told me that, like, after the first incident in early March, that he felt terrible about it. They felt terrible. He felt terrible that he let down his teammate. He felt terrible that he felt like he let down, like people that have like regularly supported him, that he felt badly. He knew he had done something. He knew it was a big deal. And he went and got that's, home. yeah. And then and that's the first thing, right? Which is this acknowledgement like, man, I've really screwed up. And then you fast forward and. Look, we talked about it last week. It cost him $40 million. This is not your average. Yeah, it cost him eight games. Yeah, it cost him public humiliation and embarrassment. It also cost him $40 million, right? What took place. And, you know, what you hoped was, and this is what we talked about a lot, um, you hoped that it was rock bottom. There's all kinds of people that have made big mistakes in their life. Whether it is in their marriage or whether it is with alcohol or whether it was... And, you know, most everybody has this moment where it's like, this can't be. I can't be like this anymore. I'm, I've gotten... Th th something has scared me, you know, to the point of where now it's like, I can't, I can't be like this anymore. And this is not who I want to be anymore. Something happened. And so what we hoped was that happened. And it was like, okay, now everybody's goofing on you. You've got the eight-game suspension. You're in jeopardy of losing your endorsements. And it's like that becomes real, right? Like uh, this is not – this is something that comes with consequence. And this is not what I want to happen. This is not how I want to be. And I think that – he convinced a lot of people that that's not how he wanted to be. And so immediately I'm like, no way. And then the second thing was, geez, man, like forget, like, you know, you know, I stood up for him at the beginning and we it's all, like, we all everybody did. We all do. And it's like, bro, you just burned everyone. The city. Not that you, not that you care. I mean, look, and look, I, I have, we have more John Morant paraphernalia in our house in between the two kids. I mean, the two kids. And yesterday, after it was all said, that, like, I kept it away from William. And he did not see it on social media. And we went out 
to Mother's Day brunch and I ran into a friend and the friend says to me, that John Moran, he just can't help himself, can he? Blah, 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 blah. And William's like, what did y'all do? Mm. And I told him, and I said, he got caught flashing a gun on Instagram again. He goes, idiot. <laughs> He's mad about it. And then yesterday when I took Haley out, I was like, you want to go hit some golf balls? She was like, yes. And so we went out to go hit some golf balls. And uh, she goes, "Do I? can I wear my Crocs or do I need tennis shoes? I said, wear some tennis shoes. She goes, I'm not wearing the Jaws. I'm mad at him. <laughs> she's mad at him. She's mad at him. She's mad at him. And so, look, here's the deal. I, I said this on whenever it was, March 4th. And this was uh, one of the very few things that I said on the topic um, was that I was, I, I said from the first story, I was concerned about this. And I said, but as we've talked about many times, to whom much is given, much is expected. And then sometimes the weight of that flips into recklessness. And then it's not that you don't know there are consequences it's that you don't care that there are consequences because of something going on right and i you know one of the things i said is his tale is old as time and it's one of the things that i've talked about regarding him and i am not a psychologist but look we have seen whether it is entertainers whether it is movie stars whether it is Athletes, you name it, fame, money, everything, swallow people up to the point where they cannot handle it. And something happens, right? Sometimes they get hooked on drugs. Sometimes they go crazy. Sometimes they, you know, rebel, act out, you know, and and next thing you know, it's like, look at all these people that were young, got super famous, became mega stars, and now it's like they become the butt of jokes, right that's been my whole life and and then it becomes sad after that right so it's Britney Spears sad now right it was Lindsay Lohan it's it's Whitney Houston it's Michael Vine. Jackson it's on and on and on you know and some people make it through it right and can handle it there's some people that cannot handle it and that's what terrifies me it's like I don't think he can handle the weight of the $200 million in the fame that has come with it, and you have this lashing out. And the reason I say this is because there are a lot of people that say, like, oh, well, you're just seeing it now. Like, this, this is who that guy is. All of us in this room have all known that guy since he he walked in here the day after draft day. All right? He's 20 years old when I first met him. And we've all been around him for three straight years. That's not what he was that's not how he acted it's not it's a change it's a change i won't say a change i think it i said intense intensified intensified i think this fame intensified it in the spotlight intensified it i think when he came in here he was 12 like he was who he was but it's like like it's a new situation so you can't be who you are exactly he also fame, stopped listening to anybody. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. No, that is different. Oh, that part. The for, guys I know. That part for sure. Because yeah. I know, I, you know I know all the OGs around here. They told me when when all the first stuff happened. They're like, man, he won't listen to nobody. Like, we told him. He won't listen to nobody. He won't listen. And it's like, that's what changed. He did listen to people. You know what I mean? And it's like. You're the guy. You're the, you're that guy. And so, and you wonder how many people are telling him, you know, hey, this cannot be. Like, you're kind of, it's a lot. You're in charge now, so right? You you're to, in so charge. You, you're so the you, guy. So. so you have to wonder if some of it is, and, I, and like I said, not a psychologist, don't know. Um, but he has done the, he has said before. You know, in press conferences, like just sitting up here on this pedestal, y'all got me on. You know, he also um, did that interview with Taylor Rose yeah. where he said, I can't handle it. 
like where so I, it, it, I would, it, it I would makes, go more with a Taylor Rooks interview because he was mocking someone who okay. said that we hold him on a pedestal. Okay, yeah. so he was mocking Giannata. He was mocking, he was mocking Okay, yeah. so I so uh, but I do want. Does he want it? No, no, he doesn't. Yeah, he, want, does, he doesn't I, want. I think it. he'd rather just hoop and take care of his people, and that's the, just so happened that all his other stuff comes with it. But the other thing is this whole like. Running around with guns and flashing it and like that, that whole lifestyle. Like, I mean, it, it, bro, you can do that. Just put your phone down. It just <laughs> can't. You should be he, doing he, it he, anyway, he, though. Like, if he's going to, then I mean, he's not the, oh, he's not the only the, athlete that's with a gun. It, but, it, right. But everybody wonders, I think, watching it going, why? Yeah. Why do you have a gun in your hand? Yeah. But just why anyway? Like why? Why do you want to be in the? Why do you want to be in these places? Why do you want to? Like you it doesn't I, make you look cool. When when when, right. when, when Moneybag t- posted the facepalm tweet yesterday, I was like, "Yep, that's when." And yeah. that's a rapper. And Moneybag who, is a rapper who who lives in that li- like talks about that lifestyle daily. Right. And when he's tweeting like, "Yo," because like, Moneybag knows what we know, and it's that's doing? not who you are. Like, like you're not. I was. Here. Yeah. I was like hurt. Like I like I like I saw her and I was like. Like, hit me in the stomach. I was like, no, 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 bro. Like, this can't be real. I thought it was Photoshop. And this is my real concern. I know. I didn't think it was really I text you guys this. My real concern is because everybody's got their opinions on how long a suspension is going to be, what the NBA is going to do. But here's my concern. My concern is that the longer that suspension is, and uh, hopefully he can be with team during a suspension, I don't think that that adds up to... I don't think that that's the best chance at him, like changing behavior, changing and redeeming. It's one of those things. Yeah. It's like taking that if away you took away him, basketball, away that then him. we're we're headed to the wrong thing. And you guys are gonna laugh at this, but you were with me, and you will remember this, where we were, and and people will forget that this was like this. We were in Charlotte, and you guys know what I'm gonna say. We're at the All Star Game, oh, no, you're and we're this. sitting there, and Antonio Brown walked in with a massive fur coat, all kinds of chains, and he had dyed his hair. And I said, "What the hell is going on? This guy had been like, you know, cover a Madden, and he had been, and he had gotten the huge new contract, and he yeah. had become the best receiver in the league, and all this stuff. Like Antonio Brown, these first couple of years, go find any of the interviews, go find any of the way he acted, and it's like." Uh, people can say he had CTE, he had this. That dude could not handle fame. He literally became a different human being. Anybody will tell you yes. that. Anyone will tell you. He became a different human than he was before. And there's an, um, there's an enormous amount of pressure that comes with being that famous. There's an enormous amount of responsibility that comes with being that famous. And I think it's very easy to say, oh, the guy's just an idiot, and he wants to be a dog, and he wants to do this, and he wants to do that. that guy. The que- and, and, and Bomani talked about this with Gary. The question is, why? Why? That's the question. Why? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Why? And you could say it's to try to look cool or try to look – maybe it's sowing your wild oats. Because, look, what was always... You think about things all different now because what is celebrated as, you know, this kid was going to be an NBA player. He was built to be an NBA player. He was jumping on tires every day. He was doing this. He was doing that. You know what I'm saying? Like, every day of his life was spent towards this dream and whatever. Now you look back at that and you're like, is it, is it all what he wanted? You know what I'm saying? Because now you're... Like, this is the dream. Your shoe... You're Mount Twelvesky. You're yeah. all NBA. You're two hundred thirty million dollars, and it's like, is it your dream? Because you see so many of those child stars, right? And they, I think the, the, the I don't know, I don't know what to think anymore because this is, these are the actions of someone who just doesn't care because he's not comfortable with. I mean, you also got a little bit of an insight. I know this is so stupid and you can't put a lot of stock into this because he was like 13. But when his old Instagram got leaked, yes. his captions are not like, hi, I'm a cute little yeah, angel. Like, I don't think he's like changed necessarily. Same, that's why that's he was saying. in it's eighth same, grade. I think this, the, we talk about like, we go back, like remember, we talk about this all the time. The Murray State, go back to Murray State, right? It's been from Murray, just junior year Murray State, it's been like what, five years? From Murray State to now. Correct. And we think about anybody in five in a five-year span. You go from being like 
literally nobody knowing who Ja Tamidra's Jamil Moran is to you go, you being known on a first name basis by the whole world. Right. That can like that can eat you alive because it can like yo like I went from being able to do anything I wanted like you said I could post whatever I want on social media. Nobody nobody paying attention to me. I'm cool. I'm over here. I go to Murray State. Now like any step you take, TMZ is picking it up. Any step you take, it's, it's over here. It's over here. That can like get to you a little bit. I know some people can say, "Well, you should be fine because you got the money." But I, I, I think that eats you alive. I get it, Dev. Money's not everything. But he made it three and a half years without it. Bro, I'm, it, you don't think everybody's been paying I attention will, to everything that guy has go done back to his for three and a half go years? Go back to his rookie. I will, I will hate to bring this up because I, I love. Him. Go back to his same thing. His rookie year, he was walking down the street over here at weekend, and somebody. Pulled a gun in the video. I remember this video came out. It was his rookie year. And because he was a rookie back then, nobody blinked at it. It was before he was a rookie of the year. It was before he was there. Did it get passed around? Oh, yes. I, I had so many conversations about it. Really? But nobody, like that said, he wasn't this, right? Mm-hmm. So it was stuff that came up that you just say, okay, cool. Like, and whatever. people probably weren't following like his friends. Yeah, and people like, like, uh, you know what, just he'll like be all right. He'll, Boy, you it, want to talk about a lesson I could have with my kids? yesterday about this in the end this guy becomes the biggest story in the country nba wise tmz everything it's on every site both sports and non-sports commenting on it because people love a downfall and they but to have with my own children about you know you're and it's something that is obviously of great concern when you're when you got kids your digital footprint, bro. Like, you can think that it's not a big deal, or that it's just you and your buddies. Do you know there are 115 people on that Insta Live? Mm -hmm. That's it. 115 Mm -hmm. total. Total. Yeah. And if he, you know what I mean? If he cuts the Insta Live off gone forever it's weird you would have had to have screen recorded it's it. weird because it happened in the afternoon of like the day before and it's just like it was after they were leaving the sisters like graduation thing so like the whole day happened and it popped up the next morning so it was it was and you don't even know where it pops up yeah it popped yeah did they sell it to somebody yeah. i'm they, sure they sold it yeah to it was it was kind of weird the way it happened because like the, it happened because i saw the, the live pop up on my on my feed i saw the live it pop said, up too and it I was said like, detail went live D-tab. and i was like i saw it do too. i want to no i was like no nah, i ain't gonna do this so then i just it just happened then the next morning we wake up, it's the most viral video in the world. So it, that's what I'm kind of like. Well, and he, oh yeah, look, beyond the whole burning everybody that defended him, yeah. he also now hurt the cause of people blaming his friends. It's not his friend, bro. His friend tried to save him. Yeah. He tried, tried to. Tried. He tried to. Tried. He didn't make you do that. He didn't make you do you that. Knew you, you, that. You, did that. you knew you were on IG You knew you were that yourself. Live. You did that yourself. And he, you saw it the second. I mean, it, again, somebody had to screen cap it. It's so quick when you oh, first watch like, the video. It's, it's this quick. I told y'all. You're I was like, like that- I, I, told, I texted y'all. I said, I can't see anything in that video. And then you sent me the screenshot. And I was like, oh, that's a gun. Yeah, that that is. Yeah. And it's like, bro, like, and, and this is what I say. Like. What, what concerns me, the reason I get really worried about this, is because, look, we all, we love this guy. I feel like when you do something like this, it's kind of like the guy that, like, um, you know, say, say some guy gets caught cheating and he goes back to his wife and he says, look, I don't want to lose my family. I don't want to lose you. I've made a terrible mistake. I'm sorry. I'm going to change my ways, you know. And then does it again? He goes and does it again in like two months. Right. Yeah. You're like, bro, this dude didn't change. And less than a this month. Dude, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, and less than a month like, after and, you. And, yeah. and and what would you say? You wouldn't say, oh, he just. You would say he doesn't care. You would say he doesn't care. He doesn't care. He knows the consequences. He just went through it. He almost lost his family. He almost lost his wife. He almost lost everything. The reason he did it again is because he doesn't care. He doesn't care. Yeah. He almost wants to get caught. 
because that would make things easier. Or the thrill of it is the the fun part. Right. You know, the thrill of it's wa- like waving the strap. And, and the, it's and just the, the lives. It's, yeah, it's the lot. Yeah, you can the, do it on. Don't do it on camera. Do it on camera, bro. Like, why we gotta go live for everything? Like, as somebody who works on social media, like, you ain't gotta go live for everything. Just don't go live. Like, don't wave the strap on the live. Bro. And make your friends go private, or then go live. Like, ooh. that's the thing, bro. Like, just don't wave the strap. Cause everybody got straps now. Everybody got straps. Like, somebody, some NBA player tweeted yesterday. Every player in the league probably got a strap. Sure. But, they, like, they're but, not but, but there are now. what? Roughly 500. Yeah. How many of you ever seen dancing around with one online? Yeah. I've seen them wave around in person more, so not wave as wave around. That's what I'm saying. You yeah. haven't seen them online yeah. waving guns around. Yeah. yeah. There's 500 guys. But that's what I mean. Our guy's done it twice. Just down. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you should make her, at this point, it should be a rule, bro. If you're around me, like, no there's a no live rule. Like, if you go, if I see a, if, if I see a little square button, yo, cut that off. It should, but like you said, that's to Josh. That's 12 too. Like, he knew he was online. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's what, he got to know. He got to, like, yo, cut. No. I'm not. I'm not yeah. blaming no, him. No, no, we say like, he messed up for sure. But, it's but like, that's where he lost that group of people. That's yeah. like he oh, just yeah, needs yeah, better yeah. friends. Yeah, yeah. You, it's like, it, yeah. It's, man, I don't know if you do need better friends because we, your you gotta, friend tried to save your ass at the end of that. I mean, we, his friend yeah. also put the camera on him. I understand. Well, you got, uh, yeah, but you, I mean, he probably wasn't sitting there thinking, "Hey, this guy's gonna." I don't. I don't. I don't understand it anyway. When you stand up there, I, you're only putting out on live to what? Like I, I, to show everybody that you're live, even though it's like a hundred people in the live. Right. But it was, that's the weird part. It's on. It's on D-Pack's live, so like nobody's gonna notice if I do this. D-Tap. D-Tap. <laughs> D-tap. Your last name is Tap. So I'm gonna what did you to call him? Yeah, yeah. D-Pack. Whatever. D-Tap. <laughs> that's fair. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Devin, you butcher names all the time. That's whatever. Yeah, I, I um, these names, but it's literally. Not four it's letters. literally <laughs> at the end of the Lakers series and exit interviews that. You stand up there and you talk about being a better leader and you mention specifically off the court issues and you're specifically talking about your off the court issues. Dude, it hadn't even been a month since that. It hasn't. Hasn't has even been that's what a that's when you month. worry that he doesn't care. Yeah. Yes. The, that the that's co- what makes me upset. Yes. That's right. because I'm like, me. bro, it's not that he's like I don't think he's sitting around going, Oh my God, how did I do this? I don't. No, he doesn't. He will, he will for about, like, 20 minutes. But if you just never saw him on social media all summer, you would just assume that he was doing something good for himself, yeah. right? Yes. So if you just put the damn phone down, and I'm not promoting it, but do whatever the hell you feel like you need to do with right. your friends and your guns. Yeah. Just don't show people. You, like, just Why do you have stop. to show people? That goes Why to the do you have to know, show like, people? You're, you have $200 million. Like, everyone knows you have a good life. Everyone knows that you are living and doing dope shit. You don't have to show everyone. But he's really not. Him. He's not. He like, thinks I, it I mean, they must think it if I were him, I would be like in Paris. You know what I mean? I would be I like. He's, he's a country boy from South Carolina, bro. I know. <laughs> he's he's to run run a Royce. But like, like all the things, like Turks and Caicos and whatever. He's in like a freaking pool hall. He was in the yeah. last live. He was and in, this time he's in. He's in Memphis. He was at his sister, I know. sister's graduation party. He's in a dude's car dancing to music and waving a gun. It's like you could be. Doing anything like the the video. So this the video, isn't, but it's what he wants to do. The video after, like the, the like the live of him like dancing on the car. Cool, like live your life. That's fun. That's fun. That's yes. fun stuff. Yeah, but do that. You don't have. You don't to, have to show somebody. Like, show I mean, it's just. I think that this thing. He's must, just never doing anything that I'm jealous of. <laughs> I mean, like seriously. And if he just put the phone away and you never saw that he you was in a pool club, know. you would just assume that he was somewhere fun. Just like go yeah. do what you need to do without By your the phone. By the way, anybody, did, did anybody else get a flashback to like the early 2000s, like Cash Money Records videos watching that? That's what it looked like. It looked like the bling bling video kind of. Like a video? Yeah. yeah I just... The, the no, that, I'm the same way. It doesn't look fun. Like all the stuff he's doing, I'm like, oh, that just I mean, doesn't look the cars fun. Is fun. But I mean, I just want to, I just not. Not with a gun. <laughs> Bro, I saw some dude who wasn't even a cop the other day walking around the grocery store with a gun and it freaked me out. I'm like, yeah, you live why? in Tennessee. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, Bro, why you just got a gun out. on you right now? Like, what the hell's the point of that? I, I, it freaked I me you, out. I texted you yesterday. The part that really, like, really hit me, like, it, it made me sad. Like, I, I was, like, hurt by it. Like, really hurt by it. Two calls yesterday hurt me. The one I got from a random pastor in the city. That lets you know, like, like he called me. It was like, yo, we're doing, we're, I'm a pastor in a small church in Memphis. And he said that we have a group of like young black men in this church that we're trying to teach, right? We're trying to teach them to stay away from the, the, the street life and the guns and all this other stuff. And he's like, all these kids, they all come in with John Moran jerseys, John Moran t-shirts. 
They all look up. They see him as a god. There's not one kid at my kid's school yeah. that does not have a piece of John. My Morant little brother paraphernalia. lives in a different country and is obsessed yeah. with John. And these are inner city kids, right? They look, they see Jaws like C12 is like a as a figure. Yep. And he said, I I had to go. I had to come in today. And they, all they were talking about is you see Jaw with the gun alive. You see Jaw. He's like, and that's the part I was like, yo, we got to figure this out. Because I can't tell these kids, yo, you don't need to be a part of that life. You don't need to be doing this. You don't need to be doing that. When their if hero they see, is. If they see their hero on live waving the strap. Yeah. And he was like. And people can say this shouldn't be your role model. This shouldn't be your hero. Exactly. You cannot stop Not, yeah. a kid. See kids. Yeah, no. You can't. If that's the kid you see on, if you do see on commercials, you see him doing the gritty. There's a parade inside my seat. Like all that stuff is the kids' love. He's also the biggest thing in the city. Yeah. No question. So it's, he was saying like, yo, I just, I just, he, at the end, he said, I just want to say a prayer for him. I kind of laughed at that part, but, um, but I, at that part, I was like, damn, bro. Like the kids in the city, the kids everywhere, there's kids. There's that, two in my household. That see him as the biggest person in their life. They don't even, they don't know him. All they see him on TV, they see him playing basketball. They but it also him. goes to what you were saying. Like, Jaw didn't, Jaw, like, does Jaw, he, that's the, he, Jaw doesn't know. Like, that's a lot of pressure. That's a lot of pressure. And you can't help it. It's just the way it it's is. just the right? way it is. If you, uh, right. Like, I mean. Your, your kids, like, there will come a day, especially when they realize the um, their genes, where, which are mine, they're going to go, okay, I'm probably not going to be a professional athlete. <laughs> and then they might want to be me. Yeah. But for right now, they don't want to be me. <laughs> they want to be job. They want to be job. They want to be job, man. You know what I mean? They want to be 12. They're going to have the reality of the situation they want, hit do, them. They want but for right hand. now... Yeah, he's what you want to be. He's what you want to be if you're a kid. Yeah. And that's that. That's the issue, right, what you were yeah. saying, which is these kids look at that. And now it used to be they would not know. They. It's very possible that you could shield them from it. Or it they would be like newspapers know. and shit. Yeah. Like. Now... Oh, I don't know. Like, there's all kinds of guys that I probably looked up to that got in trouble. That, like, you know, what I mean, it's a, it would be a different world for all oh, manner yeah, of people, for sure. right? That being said, mine both knew. One of which learned at brunch, and then, of course, the sister overheard him. And mm-hmm. right now, I'm saying it. Yeah. And they're both like just despondent. Yeah. Like what? what? Again? Yeah. Again? Because they knew the first time. And it's weird. Even a child sits there and goes, what? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a child, a child. Like, child, how children. can you do this again? Yeah. And child knows. Like, yeah. Well, because they knew because he was suspended. Mm-hmm. Why isn't Ja playing? There's no way I could get around that. And obviously, William knew anyway. And like, you know, yeah. nowadays with social media, you know, they'll they're going to be inundated with all manner of videos and TikToks and whatever else because that's who they love. The same way that they were inundated with every dunk he's ever had and highlight, they're inundated with all the, the memes stuff, and the goofing yeah. and whatever, which I will say is the only thing that saved us as a group yes, yesterday. Yes, for sure. The memes are funny. So, yeah. There's a lot of funny people out there. Now, that's why I stayed away from social media myself is because 99% of it is mean. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's a lot or, of mean Or, or just like... You know, celebrating in someone's downfall or whatever else. So I just stay away or from giving it. Giving their take about like how he. Oh, should you gonna defend his ass now? Yeah. Blah blah blah. You know, I mean, it's just all like, like really, like go, 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 go you know, go enjoy Mother's Day. <laughs> That's the thing. I couldn't, bro. I couldn't even enjoy. I walked to the crib to my my mom. The first thing my mom said to me, bro. It's all about that job, or at. I'm like, because the thing is, like, it's take the, your flowers, mom. Yeah, celebrate. It's, like, <laughs> it's, it's like older. Like, I know we talk about like, the, the the fan base of like 12. Like, it's it's like little kids that love them, and like for it's it's a weird section of like older women that like love him. Sure. Like my my auntie from South Carolina, who's from the bro, it's Sibley. every age group. Yeah, no, not, Sam. I feel like it's like the the biggest like section is like older and like the you know because they're like. Do you know that boy, John? I just want to sit him down and just talk to him one time. I want to slap him on his head. Like, you know, it's that older, like, generation that just, just want to give him a hug, you know? And I was just like, man, she called me, my auntie from South Carolina. She's just like, I just, I just want to know what's wrong. What's what is want? wrong? I, I think that, that's what wrong. people are left asking now. She's like, I just yeah. want to know what's wrong. They, people, because there's, look, the people that don't know or don't care, they're just going to go, he's an idiot. He wants to be a gangster and he wants to be this, whatever. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, we yeah. sit there and go, what is going on? Mm-hmm. Like why? Why? Because let us know what's wrong, him. bro. Let us know what's wrong. Like, like, let it. There, is there something else going on with you? Like, 
I mean, he's been vocal about. Yeah, he's been vocal, but like, on. talk to like, let it what out. What do you think? I don't Females know. Females usually have a different perception on this stuff. And y'all use it right most of the time. I Correct. mean, honestly, I think he, I, when the first one happened, I did go back and watch that Taylor Rooks interview, like in full. And he's talking about how he was battling depression and didn't know how to deal with it. And I actually understood that a lot because that can be difficult. And like Devin said, it is a lot of change, a lot of pressure. He's, he's the man of the household now all of a sudden he also has all his friends and everyone who relies on him his daughter his whatever his sister everyone and so i do think that's a lot i just don't know why i honestly i have no even idea why he has to have his phone on him because i don't even have a problem with him playing with his gun in his car like you can do what you want we're in tennessee do what you need to do but like just put your freaking phone away like that's it i, I that's don't know why i don't know why he has to show people that what he thinks is like cool or fun i don't get that that's what it that's yeah. why he could it makes drink you and play wonder, with guns like, and do whatever he needed and if we never saw it we would never know you we would, would never just assume know. he was in that's why getting better that's why playing basketball somewhere you know what i'm saying it's the, it's the broadcasting of it that's the, of a young black 23 year old but like, that I also would. does i know you say that but it also does make you feel while we would not know that you do see it makes it feel like He's not getting better. That's what concerns me. Mm -hmm. Because if you got in that kind of trouble and you lost $40 million by doing this stuff, going back and doing this stuff again, even if it's on video that tells you the, That tells you the bread doesn't really matter. It though. tells you the money doesn't matter. That tells matter. you the bread doesn't Correct. matter. Which is when you're in that frame either. of mind, it does Like I, I truly believe like something is going on mentally. Like I don't think it's like, oh my God, I got in trouble. Now I'm going to stop. It's like, oh, I got in trouble. That sucks. But I'm still dealing with shit up here. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I do believe that. Because like you said, that's not like the... Jaw's not a malicious person. Like, he's not going out there, like, looking to hurt all these people who rely on him. Yeah. That's not that's not him. Well, and it's one of those things where it's like, when I brought up all those other people, the people that, like, just got crushed by stardom, whether it was drugs, whether it was ruining their lives, whether it was whatever. Whatever it is. Whatever it may take place, right? There's a lot of people. Mm -hmm. both, uh, and that that they could not handle it they probably had a ton of people around them like you know i'm sure that somebody tried to you know they they experienced some consequence with it before or whatever else but you look up and then they become i just look at this and i go this is like to me i watch it and go this is a freaking meltdown bro it's like happening before our eyes mm -hmm. like we we literally saw it with the antonio brown people could revisit history all they want that dude was not like that <laughs> you know what i mean and it happened and we've seen it with all manner of people that are yeah. huge stars you know what i mean like i i thought like i mean you see these like you see these like britney spears videos show up every once in a while and it's like what happened yeah. like what happened Oh, and all manner of people. This is, I mean, I, again, you can go on and on and on. I mean, that's mental health. You saw Britney Spears Correct. actually have a breakdown in front right. of our eyes. And you go, what happened? And like, all, and so I'm sitting there going, geez, man, if he gets suspended for a long time, like I, I that would worry me way more, yeah, honestly. I, I and I know so he's too. going. It would send it it him into a part of the bigger spiral if, mentally if you just said, yo. If he didn't have basketball yeah. and he didn't have guys that, accountable cause to. Because those, right? dude, those dudes that were in the locker room were the ones that kind of kept him like, like the ties is the, the, those dudes, like they kept him like this. Well, like, he also seemed so sincere apologizing for it all. Like in terms of what he did to it, more so for his teammates and Zach and Taylor than forget the fans and forget everybody else, right? He knows he let a lot of people down, but he did seem sincere at the end of the year. I've screwed up. I know what I need to do. I've got to be a leader for this team. And I've made my mistakes, but I'm doing what it takes to change. And you just set that back. I mean, you just break that trust. Yeah, you do. Right? And, and now whatever you say is not, it's not bond anymore, you know? Like, you, your actions are definitely good. Like, before you can say, like, like you said, we all, we all sat up here and like, yo, we know this dude. Like, that's not him. That's but him. now, like, your word is not even bond. Like, now you got to show from this you're suspended from everything but like from the second you had to be around anybody yeah yo you gotta show them like yo i'm in it because now everybody's like freaked out yeah or like disappointed like 
I think disappointed the whole, is a perfect word. The whole I'll city, always, I'll always the whole stick city is there. We'll ride for I'm, I'm riding for twelve to the to the end, bro. Like that's that's our guy. But you can feel disappointed. But you can be disappointed. Like the whole city felt like you kind of gave him the middle finger because like this city will literally move as you move. Well, it's because the first yeah, it's the first time it happened. You take all the crap from people and then you sit out there and you defend them and say, look, man, he's 23 and he's young and like just. You do you defend them on social media, and then it freaking happens again, like in less than three months, and it's like holy crap, and you feel stupid. Right, you yeah. feel stupid. It's like so what? No, like just, come just, on, man. You're like bro, you're 23. Yo. It's so disappointing. It's so Someone it's embarrassing. Point, it's huh? They said he can be sincere in his apology and still mess up. Like that's not mutually exclusive. No, that's true. The mess up seems the exact same as the initial. Two months. It's been like two I months. mean, I, I, it's been two months, bro. I know. Yeah, two months is. Yeah. I mean, it's like I said. I mean, it's just like I said with the somebody that gets caught cheating. Uh, you know what I mean? And they say, I, you know, I, I, I understand. Yeah, I and I, you're right. And they, you sincerely, at that moment, felt sorry. I'm sure. It's not like you waited ten and years you to didn't cheat care. again. You know, you know what I mean? Then yeah. you just yeah. decided you didn't care enough. Yeah. You didn't care yeah. enough. And that's what hurts, right? It's like, why don't you care enough, man? And it, to me, you care that, as much as we do, you know. Because then the answer is, because he doesn't want it. He doesn't want it. The fame. He doesn't want it. He doesn't want all of it that comes with it. Yeah. All of it. Which it's if, uncomfortable. You know what I mean? Yeah. He'd it, rather just be I just old play. job. I guarantee, you, if you asked him, you do not get the money. You do not get the shoe, but you get your old life back. He would take it in two seconds. Two well, seconds. Does, he, does he still get basketball? Yes. Oh, yeah, he'd probably take it. In two seconds. He'd I think he'd take it back. Which? Because all this stuff. And, and like, yeah. uh, you, it, it is to us and the, uh, the regular person, the American dream. Kid from small town South Carolina works his way up, goes to a school that's not Duke, Kentucky, and whatever, found in an auxiliary gym, all that, and then becomes one of the greatest basketball players literally in the world, becomes mass... But think about the pressure of that story. Everybody, everybody loves famous. you. Hugely famous. Everybody loves you. Everybody loves you. New shoes, whatever. And I will tell you this, and this is what I told you at the very beginning, because you remember early in his career when he was responding to haters and stuff on Twitter, and I told you this is wildly unhealthy yeah. because he is going to get a perception that that's what people are really like, this online world, I because now that. he can't go outdoors. He's not out around real people. Yeah, at the games and whatever, and people are cheering for you, right? But you're not on a daily basis around real people, so you start to think that that's what people really think. Because it just, I guarantee you, even in his nicest ones, you know, like just regular tweets, right? Like, hey, uh, shout out to Jared Jackson. He's the, you know, he deserves defensive player of the year, whatever. It's probably... Nine out of ten are negative responses, and this is before he got in trouble. Nine of ten would be negative responses, because there's just a bunch of jerks out there on social media, and that's their connection. So this is their chance, and I I just felt like, man, don't get this wrong perception, because he was on social media all the time, yeah. all the time, lived on it, you know. Yep. And then you start to think. And it's like, no, bro, everybody loves you. Everybody's got your jersey. Everybody's trying to buy your shoes the day they come out. All that, like, that, that anonymous guy on Twitter that's saying the meanest thing you can think of, like, that's not, but it hardens you, you know? And I don't know, man. I don't know where you go from here. Obviously, the NBA is going to make a decision on this. And I'd imagine they punish him rather severely. Because yeah. of the statement from Adam Silver the first time. And yeah. because of dude. We, Which was we, like, he understands, and he understands the pedestal he's got, and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And because we talk about, we talk, have this conversation probably, like, once a week about how, how badly we need an American superstar. Sure. And how badly, like, the NBA wants 12 to be that dude. Like, they want him to be. Uh, how badly Nike wants that's him what to I'm be saying. that dude. Like, how bad they, everybody wants him to, like, that's, like, that goes into the part we talk about. Like, the, the yo, this is, we're pushing this on you. But like, yo, the way they want you to be that dude, so it's like, yo, like, I don't know. I'm but just, if you don't want it, right? You don't want it. 
which speaks. So, like, I mean, that then goes can, to another you can issue. You want that and just not know how to deal with the pressure. It's true. So we don't know. Does, does he want it or does he not? And mm -hmm. ju does he want it and just doesn't know how to deal with it, or does he just really not? Does he not want it? Because I feel like over oh, time, I think he'd rather be normal. Yeah, a guy that could just a go lot to of, a, like I'm putting celebrities in quotes. A lot sure. of celebrities say that. Wish they. They could just, I, mean, Le, I mean, Le, I know you hate him. Really, they could bro. go. They Le, could go. What, dude, LeBron, LeBron said it. No, LeBron has dealt with everything. Like, I mean, it's insane. The guy's been famous since he was 15 years old, right. and has dealt with it as good as. I look at like, and I guess Jaws bigger, but also has his own signature shoe. Obviously, not as popular as Jaws is going to be, but small town school, and is very famous. And that's Damian Lillard, and Lillard's handled it. Small town, it's like small school. Nobody knew who he was. And you don't, but I mean, it's also, you don't know where, you don't know what his situation no, was. No, you, you don't. don't know you don't. The family don't. situation. You don't know the, you know, the friend situation. You don't, you know, you know what I mean? No, you really, you don't. You don't. It, like they say, it takes a village. Yes. In and, order to deal with the, that stardom. And, and you important. see a lot of people, right? For every Whitney Houston, there's a, Justin Timberlake or whatever, right? That was able to, but then there's also the Britney Spears, right? Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake were peers. Yeah. They were boyfriend and girlfriend, in fact. LeBron, look at Timberlake today and look at Britney today. LeBron's a perfect example too, because the people that the people that grounded him, the the the, the surface, like all the people like the riches and all yeah. them, like those are all dudes that like lifted him up, you know? And I hate to say this, but, but no. this is true. Cause I love Dang. He was not the superstar. He no, was he's not, not he's that not level as, of star. He's, he's not that. He's not. He's been not as big of a that level, of, level star. of star. Damian Lillard could still operate in the world. Dame you know actually I mean? did an interview about this not too long ago because I remember it like within months. He did an interview about off the basketball court how he is just a normal person. Yeah. He's like, I go to my aunt's house for right. Sunday dinners. I chill with my wife. Like he did an interview about him literally living like a watch it because he's making regular. jokes about how people think I just sit around like think about yeah. what the hell they care about every day, but I be doing like normal shit. You, yeah. you were he on because you, you you would go on these road trips. Yeah. It's a rock star reception for him. Yeah, Damien Lillard never got a rock no. star reception. I mean, no. he's not that. Yeah. He's not that. Shout no. out Dame. But, yeah. it's not the but not that Dame. level of fame. You never. Mm -hmm. I never saw a Damien Lillard jersey in the crowd ever. <laughs> Except, I'm except, not kidding. except when I was wearing it. <laughs> right. <laughs> but I mean, Damian Lillard's been in the league for over 10 years. And I'm saying, look, I That's love crazy. him. That's crazy. Blazers have awesome jerseys. He's too. one of my favorite players in the world. But I've never seen a Damian Lillard jersey during a Portland game. <laughs> there's not a road game that the Grizzlies play where it's, there's it's not different. 500 at oh, least. We go to every every city that was so many. Dodgers. I, I told you multiple Some Sometimes it felt like a Grizzly home game. Going places, right? Because the perception of of Ja and the rest of the team, yeah. So that that's the part too that kind of like sucks because your perception now is the gun dude. That's right. And you don't yeah. want their perception because it takes a little time to get that. <laughs> it's not gun dude. Stench off your uh, your name the, as the gun dude. It know? will take a long time. It yeah. will take. Oh, a trust long me. Time. There's not and and it, and it's for everybody. I mean, I'm not kidding you. There is not one thing I can tweet. Oh yeah. That that will not be the response. Yeah. I could say, hey, uh, man, Jokic is killing these dudes. The first response will be, worry about your own gun toting team. Okay. <laughs> All right, bro. Like, like yeah. I'm talking about the Suns and the about Nuggets. Jokic? Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about the Suns and the Nuggets. Yeah. We're not even talking about that. Like, but. That's the place you're in That's right now. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And it, and yeah. You are that guy. Yeah. yeah. And, it, like, the thing, too, like, this weekend is supposed to be about his sister graduating. Like, graduating from high school. Like And Mother's Day. And Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. He has a daughter. He, he has, has a, a mom. Daughter, like, like, all this, it's supposed to be mm -hmm. all about all that, bro. And it took an Instagram Live with 111 people in it, one screenshot, to tear all that shit apart. Crazy. All right, let's move on. No, yeah. two. <laughs> the that was NBA, number one. The NBA, yeah, it that took was a long, long time. But wow. if this is only our franchise player... <laughs> Possibly getting in enormous trouble for an extended amount of time. <laughs> oh, wait, okay. oh well, by the way, we're not gonna. I, 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 let me just comment on this. I can't speak to what they should do in the offseason, how they should end the offseason, whatever, until we know the suspension. Yeah. 
It's very clear Tyus Jones is going nowhere. Right. That's uh, number uh, that, one. Yeah. Tyus will be happy. The insurance policy <laughs> yes. that is Tyus Jones. That was one of my predictions before the offseason. Was I was like, I didn't think. I was like, I don't oh, think no, Tyus is going to be Oh, no, no, no. He's back. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to be What's back. Up with Tyus? Yeah. <laughs> What's going on with Tyus? Hey, happy He's birthday. our starting point guard. <laughs> He's our starting <laughs> point guard now. Yeah. You know, but like, I can't know until. I can't know until we know. Regarding, because that that does, if it's twenty games, it's a lot different than if it's forty games. And I, I don't think anything is off the table. I don't either. Seriously, because not you, after the commissioner no, comes no, out no. and says he understands he did wrong, and you we, sat with him that's right. in a meeting, and so when you sit face to nah, face with that commissioner him. and you burn him, then You're, it's hey, like, hey, hey, I, I say this. Can though. I be an optimist? He's lucky as hell, it's Adam Silver, and he not is. damn Roger Goodell. <laughs> Roger Goodell has suspended his ass for ten years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hell, David, St- dude, David <laughs> Stern would suspend him for at least a year. I, know. Hey, I, hope, we, I hope we don't get tampering because like, that this took away from the Desmond and McKill. Bridges hanging out this I weekend, know. too. Hey, that was such a great friends. photo, man. Great photo. See, that's a, that's a good way to use social media. Yes. That should have been what we were talking about on Sunday. That should have been the story when I woke up on Sunday morning. Yo, look at Dez and McKeel hanging out. And they at least cropped out the AK-47s they were yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Listen to Glorilla in the car, You bro. just can't be live. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. You can they edit, edit you can edit night. any photo. Yeah. It would have been hilarious if there was white out over time. <laughs> <laughs> you can even extract it these days. Magic yeah. touch. They could have been doing the, the Google, same thing. What's the Google thing? The Google commercial? Yeah. Right. Commercial, yeah. Oh yeah, where you, can, <laughs> where you just take it out. <laughs> take it out. You tap it like <laughs> Jan is getting dunked yeah. on or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Just take it and tap it out. And what were you gonna say? Uh I was just saying, is there like and I'm asking, I'm not saying okay. is there a difference between in season and off season? In terms no. of suspensions. No. Like he did something in season. You can be harsher, no? I don't I think, think so. I think it's detrimental to the league. It's kind of detrimental it's, to the yeah, league, and it doesn't matter when it I'll occurs. I'll tell you this. Shit, hey, hey, hey. Yeah. hey. <laughs> one good thing is one of his buddies is a vice president now of the Players Association. Hey, Trip, make <laughs> it happen. <laughs> stand up for him. Hey, speaking of Trip, you see what I'm Players playing? Association. The players, this is going to be a very interesting one for the Players Association. Seriously. You know what I mean? No, like, actually. Because there's one mm-hmm. side, which is, you're making us all look bad. Mm-hmm. Then the other side is, what lot did he bring? We, don't want, we don't want to set a standard here of severe penalty, you know, being a lot. So I, I don't know where the, I really don't know where the players say. I, I think like there's Bridges a lot, I think there's a lot of players that are going to be like, bro, you get what you get. Bridges got 30 games, right? Right. Wait, which bridge is Miles? Miles. Mm-hmm. Oh, that dude. Oh, yeah. One no, broke I, a law. I'm with you. And one yeah. looks really bad. That's right. So you have My- to keep that kind of into context. So Miles Bridges got suspended 30 games? Yeah. That's what they said. I mean, he Even didn't play the whole he season. He I mean, like, he, so he's technically 82 games. No, he did not get suspended, though. No. He suspended for 30 games. That's right. And that was domestic. Yeah. Correct. So... I don't know. I just like to put things into... No, no, it's no, totally no, fair. No, it's yes. absolutely fair. It's Great absolutely job, Kelsey. Fair. Context, Kelsey. <laughs> Appreciate you. Okay. Well, back to your talking about Jordan. Context. Yeah, yeah. Number two, the Western Conference <laughs> playoffs. So, the Lakers uh, blew out the Warriors in the in game six. Basically LeBron like, was awesome. I did like not... our series. Huh? Basically like our series. Well, that's one of the storylines of this. Like, I think the Knicks are the only one that didn't get run out in their elimination game, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I believe that's true. Yep, that's true. Because the rest of them were runouts. Yeah, it was a. F- yeah, I mean, the Nuggets game. destroyed. I mean, they were up 30 at half yeah. against the Pahonic Suns. And. Lakers killed the Warriors. And the Lakers killed the Warriors. Boston killed Philly. Right, so. Yeah. There's only, there's only uh, one of them. The Knicks were the only ones that. And they were more probably evenly matched, I suppose. Um, but anyway, the Lakers, um, after they had. They, it, that series played out literally exactly like the Grizzly series. Yep. The win in game five, smashed in game six on the Lakers home floor. And so it'll be very fascinating to see as the series begins tomorrow night if they can get one of the first two in Denver because that is what they were able to do mm-hmm. against both Golden State and against uh, – and against the Grizzlies. I'm really excited for that. I say Lakers, Lakers in six. 
You think they're going to do it again? I in... think they're going to win the championship. Really? Yes. Yeah. I had, I I had, had the, Lakers, the Lakers. I do. I hope Boston does. I think I, I, I think just in terms of basketball, the best team that I've watched so far Denver was Denver. I was yeah. about to say it. They look like a juggernaut. Yeah, and they're did. just like yeah, consistent. And they, they just look, uh, they they know exactly who they are. Mm-hmm. They know the eight guys they're gonna play. They've got the superstar that's like got these just video game numbers <laughs> night i i just i and it's like i think davis will be good enough he will be awesome enough that he needs to be and i will say it just like i've said it in the other they will get the calls when they need to get the calls they will it's not about the rent 42 to 14 friday night's disgrace that's a disgrace. I don't Bro, understand how anybody that, that, can go to the free throw line 42 times in a 48-minute game. It's insane. That's crazy. That is insane. 42 is a just a huge like number. They, they will, well, I mean, and John Oh, Goble, they try to get a foul on and every John play. Go, and John oh, Goble was the crew chief. Offense and defense. Yes. And is John Goble was the crew chief. Or Austin Reeves. They're throwing their body somewhere. It's yes. ridiculous. And thank, God, th- thank you, Jeff Van Gundy, for saying what you oh, said Friday off. night. He did. He did a yes. Rosa ran on live TV. He yes. did go off. <laughs> uh, but anyway, D- Denver, I thought, and they um, they're awesome. They d- destroyed Phoenix. I'm interested in the Aaron Gordon thing. We, we're we're like, yeah. Where, uh, where's he? Guard LeBron, guard Davis, like, cause he is like, he's he, been great. He, yeah. And Phoenix being down 30 at halftime, two years in a row, an elimination game on their home floor. Yikes! It got somebody. It got him. The, it got money to the can. Yeah. So that's number three. Monty Williams lost the job because of it. We've seen Budenholzer lost his job. Mm-hmm. Monty Williams lost his job. I mean, look. If I'm Monty Williams, I sit there and go, I won X amount of games, and like things were the way they were the last couple of years because of, well, last year I guess I'd use the COVID excuse, whatever. They were in the finals. I no no no. Two, two years ago. Two three years ago. Correct. Two years ago. And then last year they get humiliated on their home floor by Dallas. Yes. COVID. And then the next year, this year, you'd sit there and you'd go, uh, I didn't have Chris Paul or DeAndre Ayton. And KD got there one week ago. Yeah. And KD got here a week ago. That mad issue, look, I mean, this is the way it goes. The owner is going to want his own guy. Yep. Everybody loves Monty Williams. Everybody thinks Monty Williams is a great guy. Most people think he's a very good coach. Yep. But it doesn't even matter in the NBA anymore. Everybody loses their jobs. Literally. <laughs> Everybody loses their Everyone jobs. Loses you, their you're hired. There was a funny thing with Toronto. They said, yeah. I think there's only one Toronto coach who's ever been fired that didn't win Coach of the Year. Is that right? Yeah. Because no, Dwayne what? Casey did. Dwayne Nick Casey. Nurse yeah. did. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. It's kind of crazy. To I can't that. name you any more Raptors. Good. Did Paul Silas coach uh, the Raptors Sam for Mitchell. a little bit? Yeah, Sam Mitchell coached them. Lenny, William, Lenny Wilkins. Lenny Wilkins. <laughs> <laughs> Rip. Oh wow, that legend. Funny. Jay Toronto. Jay Toronto. Jay oh, Jay Toronto. I remember him. He still coaches with maybe the Kings. Right yeah, now? he's probably an assistant. Somewhere. Butch Carter. Yeah. I've got to try to find this. Just uh, stat about this real quick. Um, it was regarding. Uh, this was after. Um, he was let go. Uh, Monty Williams was let go. Where is okay. Of the 30 guys who began the 2019-2020 season as head coaches, five yeah. are with their team. Greg Popovich, Eric Spolstra, Steve Kerr, Michael Malone, Taylor Jenkins. That's it. That's In the league. Wow. Five. The 2020 season? 2019-2020. That's depressing, bro. Five crazy. guys. So I don't think it's necessarily, are you good? No, it's not. It's like all the Boston fans thought Joe Mazzulla was horrible. Is he? Is he good today? Nah, nah, he's a good coach. No, no, no. the players he's are good. good. I mean, why? Is he good? Hey, why is Doc still a coach? He ain't won the championships since I was like. Yeah, but he's moved fetus. around. That's okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's still, but he's still living off that Tony Allen championship. It did. It did. So it did cost them a. Uh, it cost. It, co- it cost them the coach, right? Getting. Getting beat like they did. I, I don't think. Look, in fairness, and I, I like Monty Williams too. I don't think any coach in the world survives being down thirty at halftime twice in a row no. on your home floor. No, I really don't think any coach can survive that thirty. <laughs> 
twice. Bro, we got beat by 40 and it felt like the end of the world. <laughs> yeah. And that was the whole game. Imagine if that 30 at half. Yes, bro. It felt like 30 at half. Two bro. years in a row? Like your team just has to quit. Yeah. Yep. Literally yes. two years yeah. in a row. Yeah. Yes. You can't beat out 30 with giving max effort. And at home is crazy. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's impossible. <laughs> at home they're, is crazy. They're NBA players. <laughs> and they got Kevin Durant and Devin Booker on the team. Exactly. I don't care if you put them with, you know, Bobo Jones for the other three spots. They should be able to Get at least be 20. down 15. <laughs> Not 30. <laughs> 30? Uh, number four, Easter Conference. That Knicks uh, Heat thing was fun to watch, man. And look, mm -hmm. you learn a lot about your roster when you get into the playoffs. I'd be sending RJ Barrett and Julius Randle elsewhere. Oh, Bro. I thought you were about to be like, they're good. No. <laughs> Julius Randle. They needs, aren't there for it. Not for they one, aren't there. One for ten. You're going to find out if they're there for it or not. And you know what? They got Brunson. He's there for it. He's there for it. Man, want, I'll go to war with him yeah, any want, day. Yeah, he wants the smoke. Yeah, I mean, news. that Joker just played 48 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Came out there and played 48 more. Yeah, and played, dropped 41 in the 48. Dude, he is awesome. And he made that terrible turnover at the end of the game. Yeah. Grimes airballing that three is something I will never the, forget. The, the thing on the, the Brunson, like the, the, the turnover at the end, it's like, on two different occasions. Yeah, on that play, he's got Josh Hart wide open. Wide and, and that's and his homie. And he sees him, too. Well, I'm he sure he's sees mad him. about it, too, Roser. I know. <laughs> but this is what we do, Kelsey. People we break make, it down. People make mistakes. Hey, look, they always say you make mistakes when you're fatigued. You do. Yes. You think he was the tired? Bra the brain's the first thing to go. <laughs> right? The brain's the first thing to go. And and, legs. But, I, hey, I'll go to war with him any day. Yes. Oh, yeah. God, I love him. Yeah. Remember yes. how mad everyone was that he was going to be, like, the superstar of the Knicks when he was traded Well, it's there? just that it was the letdown because it wasn't Donovan Mitchell. Yeah. yeah. But he was amazing. Are you ready to make the, the switch for, uh, from Julius Randle to Cat? Because they were they are done with Julius Randle. They were, like, tearing yeah. down his posters. Bro, they York. tore down the – yeah, they tore down the thing at They MSG tore down his face in New York City. Well, hold on oh now. Hey, you wait. I'm getting rid of the guy because I think he's a shrinking violet who's not there for what matters most. And you want me to go get cat? cat? Another shrinking violet, yes. No. Sh Trey Charmin for, uh, no. what's another tissue brand? What's another tissue brand? Charmin. Angel Soft? Yeah, Angel Trey yeah, Charmin yeah, for Angel, Angel Soft. Soft. <laughs> Two tissue for tissue. Cat. Yeah, yeah no hey, thanks. Hey, shout um, out to a sponsor, though, bro. But Jimmy Scott. Butler. Scott. Leads away, and so now they're going to be playing against the Boston that's Celtics, who yesterday, Jason Tatum was like, that's my God. It's truly like all timer legendary performance. Uh, it's the most points in a game seven ever. Yeah, he was. I mean, yeah, it is. Ungodly. Isn't that what Embiid said to him after the game? He was like, you chose tonight to have that kind of game? Yeah. Jason Tatum's 51 is the most points ever scored in a game seven. He is the only player in NBA history to score 50 in the regular season, the playoffs, the all-star game, and the play-in. Wow. Yeah, boy, hey. He was he, he was ready for that one lot yesterday, bro. That was unbelievable. Damn man. right he was. Really, the fourth quarter of the last game and then this game, that those five quarters – Jason Tatum Bruh. is the fifth player Bro, since the 97-98 <laughs> to score 25 or more points in the first half of a game seven. You had these notes ready, huh? He's the fifth player. Yeah, I did. Put some respect on it. Can score from all three levels and defend. You don't get to do this. Yeah, we're yes, calling these the nut what, riding. You know, I do. Where were the KD <laughs> oh, stats? Yeah, where the KD stats? stats? Yeah, where the KD stats? I they they got deleted. Actually, I've got yeah. I don't, I don't I've, got, I've got a KD those. stat for you. I he ain't won nothing without <laughs> Steph Curry. Yeah, 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 he has zero wins without those. Steph Curry. How about that one? He's got two Finals MVPs with Steph Curry. Yeah, but he's got him with Steph Curry. Average like thirty eight in the finals. Yeah, that's because one guy was uh, they had two guys on Curry the whole time. Really? Because they blew a three one lead. They blew a three one lead without him. Gravity. Um, <laughs> anyways, the others to do that twenty five or more in the first half <laughs> of the game seven are Lucas done it twice, Jamal Murray did it, and Paul Pierce. Rose of these nut ride notes. Shout out Jason Tatum. You did something. Yeah. <laughs> what would you go get? I know, I kicked the headphones out of the wall. Oh, okay. Let's right. I didn't do I'm, anything. No, I kicked them out somehow. My foot I just came gave down. you goaded numbers. Nobody cares. Yeah. Thank God I've got my headphones on. I couldn't hear it. <laughs> um, Go Celtics. Hashtag bleed green. 
Look, I do think that the Celtics had the better team, and so yeah. it, I saw that they were minus five fifty to win that series. But by the way, Chris, we do have to pat you on the back. We got to toot your horn. Huh? When we were yeah, talking. You we, horn. You were when right, we bro. talked about the Sixers Celtics, Don't you said trust the bearded dude. You said Doc. I still think the Celtics can win because it's James Harden and Doc Rivers. <laughs> Rosa, you got notes? I got a note for and you. James Harden. I was mad about James Harden getting three for 11 because it would have been the third time that he's been two for 11 in a do-or-die game. <laughs> so yeah. made, he made one extra The shot. fact that he made the third basket was yeah. so annoying. He, uh, I wanted the trifecta <laughs> we all two for it. 11. Bro, he was. He sucked. <laughs> he was. He, he was, he was scared not, the second oh, he thing was tipped off. So scared. He All right, let you three. let you say it. He, he was to play. He Tour was days. scared. Tour he days. ain't there for it. He was not big. He not like that. No. He he like that. Not like I, that. I got you the the. Joel was lame too. Yeah. Not built for Cuban links. <laughs> Wait, what? Shout out Raekwon. It's an album only built for Cuban links. Yeah. He's not built for that it. That didn't make sense. <laughs> not built for oh, it. Oh, there it is. Thank you. Thank Give him the you. corn. It's hey, not but, corn. Hey, I got you. I got you a uh, Doc Rivers uh, note. Yeah. Doc Rivers, 2003, blew a 3-1 lead. Doc Rivers, 2009, <laughs> blew a 3-2 lead. Doc Rivers, 2010, blew a 3-2 lead. 2012, blew a 3-2 lead. 2015, blew a 3-1 lead. 2020, blew a 3-1 lead. 2023, blew a 3-2 lead. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Blown series leads for good old Doc Rivers. Yeah, what did they say yesterday? Yeah. I think I already won. he's lost ten game sevens. <laughs> yes, that's kind of hard to do. I feel Man. like tough. That's tough. Dang, bro. Number five. So Kendrick Davis showed out with this G League deal over the weekend mm -hmm. and got himself an invite to the NBA Combine. Mm -hmm. uh, Kendrick Davis, one of my Fa I, I hate that it was only one year, but one of my favorite players to watch at Memphis ever, like truly. And I would love for him to have all the success uh, that he could possibly have. Um, but I was happy for him. Earned his it's way awesome. into the yeah. NBA combine. I don't know what the prospects are for Kendrick. Obviously, um, he's got the opportunity. He's not like the set the table point guard. You know what I mean? Like the, like, you know, like, uh, like the Van Vliet's or some other guys that are undrafted that have kind of made their way, even Alvarado for that matter. You know, kind of just set the table, get everything in order. Your traditional point guard, which you can keep your job for a long time, even if you're little. Mm -hmm. Ask Ish Smith. You might play for 50 different teams. <laughs> yeah. But if you could just handle the ball, get it across, and get the offense going. But he's not that. He was, he's more he's been that though in, the, in these like these NBA settings. Like his stats that I'm looking at right now, he's at 15 points, seven assists, three steals. Yeah, he needs to be. He's more like Carson Edwardsy. Yeah, get a bucket. Yeah, and drop. And a Carson every Edwards now. good in the G League, right? Yeah. But, but he hasn't really made a way in the. No. He had to NBA. be that. Huh? If he had to be that in Memphis. Like maybe he could play the role of a more facilitator. I don't think he's just not that guy. Where he's like the, you know, those are the. Look, those guys aren't created as much anymore. The set the table, yeah. get everybody else nah, going. That, that mold no, is he's done. a bucket. That's what he is. Yeah. He's a bucket. And he could be like, I mean, obviously, look, we bring up the same like five guys ever when it's like those kind of guys, like the Earl Boy kids is, and I know he's super tiny, <laughs> but like um, Eddie House, you know, even Daniel House, and I know he's a little I, bit I, taller. I have to, have to correct you. Carson huh? Edwards not in the G League. What? Carson Edwards is not in the G League. Oh, he's not? No, he last played in 21 22 in the G League. He's been overseas. Where is he now? Overseas. Turkey. 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 But he did average 27 a game in the G League. 27? Yeah. Yikes. Yeah. Took, took uh, eight threes a game. Yeah. That's what I'd guess. I'd guess Kendrick Davis is in the G League and it's awesome. In know, the G League, and well, that will be his chance. I think yeah. I think she might like the part where, like, if you tell Kendrick what you, what you need, like, whatever box you need to be checked, no matter how tall he is. I think he's the type of dude that he could do that for you. That's like he might not be he, not he might not be an NBA player. Yeah. But, like, if you say, Kendrick, yo, I need you to get this dude the ball. All right, bet. Kendrick, I need you to drop 30 tonight. All right, bet. I would love for him to be on the hustle. Me oh, too. dude. That would be me too. Awesome. That would put That'd butts so in fun. seats. It really too. would. Because yeah. he a dog, bro. He ain't. Oh, everybody he loves Kendrick. Is, yeah, yeah, he is. 
along with that them. would be awesome. Yeah. Plus, and so many people came to watch him at Memphis last year that if you were like, hey, you can continue watching him. Yes. Just right down the street. Yeah. Along with the uh, the mullet guy from Baylor in Illinois, Matthew Mayer. I want him on the team. Why? <laughs> just for the mullet. Well, you got mullet calls already? Ready? It's just awesome. Kendrick playing for the hustle would be great. Yes. Yes. I do think be. that. I think that's what his good plight's going to be. Yeah. I'm glad he made a great impression. I'm glad he and all these NBA teams are going to get a long look at him at the Combine. That's for sure. Yeah, get some 10-day, play in the G League, be good in the G League, get some 10 days, and hopefully when you get that 10-day or two-way, it sticks. And, he, and, and he, it's also not out of the realm of possibility. He could get drafted late. Yeah, for sure. Somebody could take a flyer yeah. just because they want him on the G League. Well, yeah. what happens? You you see happen. It happened with uh, – we did it with Vince Williams. We drafted him 45th and signed him to a two-way deal. Yeah. These guys – a lot of guys get drafted in the mid-late second round, and they just get two-way deals. Some guys don't get drafted. Look at Fred Van Vliet. Yeah. It's and normal. look at the whole entire Heat roster. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but no, like, that Kendrick, too, is a good dude. Like, you talk about how much it pays to be a like – not to be an a-hole to people. Yeah. Like if you talk, if you sit down and like talk to him, like they say he's like the nicest dude ever. Yeah. Everybody loves like, just him. like the Everybody's nicest. Everybody's come across dude. Kendrick loves Kendrick. And, it, it, a, it, and I, I thought his tweet last week about at, um, that he sent out about graduate. You could tell his relationship with Penny is special, and say he's the Kendrick saying I'm the first to graduate college in my entire family and how much that meant. And his text message that he sent to Penny about thanking him for everything. I mean, it's. It's yeah, awesome. Kid, it's man. awesome. We're rooting for Kendrick. Isn't he BFFs with uh, Dez, too? He is. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, Dez would be him. at the games. Yeah, and if Dez is at the games, we can get more fans. Well, maybe, and maybe we start taking care of Dez the same way we've taken care of the other guys. With their to friends. To bring on their friends, exactly. right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Bring on Dez's friends. And <laughs> Josh's hey. friends are going to lose their kicks. See, man. I'm kidding. Hey, we did, hey, hey, bring on Dez. Kennedy already did. Yeah. Bring on Dez's really good friend, uh, Mikhail Bridges. Oh, my God. Since you're bringing friends, go ahead and bring that friend, too. They did look friendly. It was a very friendly photo. And then listen to Glorilla in the car. <laughs> Bring him. Yeah. yeah. Let's go get Mikel Bridges. I, I am for that. Okay. <laughs> Let, the okay. record... <laughs> Let the record show. Oh. Kind of resent the fact that he averaged like 30 a game after he went to the dead. Yeah. Just because, like, yeah. Yeah, the price of the brick went up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need him to be terrible. Like, yeah, that average like 15 a game. But yeah. right. Let's take a quick break. We'll come back after this. Chris Farnan's show. Memphis fans can now enhance each moment of their day with the refreshingly luxurious taste of Cintron sparkling flavored energy beverages served exclusively at FedEx Forum. Cintron World is a lifestyle beverage brand inspiring everyone to create their lives with intention, energy, and style. As the official partner of the Grizzlies, Cintron is offering a 10% discount on your next online order when you use promo code GRIZZLIES10 at CintronWorld.com and follow the lifestyle on social at Cintron World. Drink it, live it. Represent Every Day, presented by Delta Dental of Tennessee, is an incentive-based program focused on keeping youth K-6 through sixth grade engaged in school in order to combat truancy. In partnership with Shelby County Schools and with the help of Delta Dental of Tennessee, the Grizzlies are focused on reducing chronic absenteeism among the most impacted schools in the Mid-South. Students in the program have the opportunity to win fun and unique prizes by going to school every day and being engaged in the classroom. For more information on the program, visit Grizzly com slash community slash education today. Lieutenant, can you tell us what happened today? Our officers responded to a crash on I-40 westbound this morning. The driver of a pickup truck lost control of the vehicle, veered left, and went into a ditch. 911, what's your emergency? We've been in a crash. Please send someone. My fiance is hurt. A front seat passenger was wearing a seatbelt. She survived without injury. The driver was not wearing a seatbelt and was ejected from the truck. He died at the scene. Law enforcement writes tickets to save lives. Brought to you by the Tennessee Highway Safety Office. Grizzlies fans know it's the team that gives you the edge. Big River Steel does too. And much like the Grizzlies have recruited legendary talent, we want you to be part of our team. Are you ready to be part of something legendary? Then visit www.bigriversteel.com. That's www.bigriversteel.com.
Taco Bell has all the flavors you're craving. Your favorite melty, crunchy, grilled, spicy flavors like tacos, nachos, bel grande, quesadillas, crunch wraps, burritos, and more are all available when the mood strikes. Order them ahead on the Taco Bell app for quick contactless pickup in the drive-thru or get them delivered right to your door. Want more? Join the team and eat for free. Apply at jobs.tacobell.com today. Hours and participation may vary by location. Additional terms and fees may apply. LifeCare Ambulance is proud to be an official partner of the Memphis Grizzlies and FedEx Forum. At LifeCare, they wear their hearts with pride. Their passion is their people. They want you to love what you do and where you do it. Their employee-driven culture encourages a healthy work-life balance and supportive work environment. They invest in your success and well-being so that you can provide the best care for the patients that they serve. Join the incredible team of EMTs and paramedics in Memphis, Nashville, and across the nation today. Learn more at LifeCareAMB.com. No matter what time of year it is, there's always something exciting happening at FedEx Forum in Memphis. And when you want tickets to the hottest concerts, sporting events, and more, you can find them at Ticketmaster. As the official marketplace of the Memphis Grizzlies and FedEx Forum, Ticketmaster has a wide selection of tickets available for all the events you can't miss. Check out what's happening at FedEx Forum and get tickets today at Ticketmaster.com. Sonic has something delicious for you. Hey, announcer guy, that's your cue. Try the new Super Sonic Double Stack Cheeseburger. Two juicy pure seasoned beef patties and two types of cheddar cheese topped with grilled onions, crinkle cut pickles, creamy mayo, and classic mustard on a toasted brioche bun. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm definitely craving that previously mentioned thing. Super Sonic Double Stack Cheeseburger. Sonic. Limited time only of participating Sonic drive-ins. Elevate your hotel experience in the heart of downtown Memphis at the West End Memphis Beale Street. Our AAA Four Diamond Hotel boasts spacious guest rooms and suites, refreshed meeting space, upscale dining, and more. Just steps away from the sights and sounds of Beale Street, FedEx Forum, and the Memphis Rock and Soul Museum. After a full day of work or play, retreat to your hotel room or suite featuring luxury bedding, a contemporary bathroom, a spacious workstation, complimentary coffee, and a flat screen TV. During downtown Time, you can take advantage of perks such as our on-site fitness center, 24-hour business center, and upscale dining at Penny's Nitty Gritty. On your next visit to downtown Memphis, make the Westin Memphis Beale Street Hotel your home away from home. Get your Mardi Gras beads ready. Fat Tuesday Memphis is now open. The world's most famous daiquiri bar is opening on Main Street and will be the official pregame party destination for your Memphis Grizzlies. Try the famous Fat Tuesday 190 Octane, Cat 5 Hurricane, or Miami Vice, or create your own signature drink with 12 delicious flavors to choose from. Grab your friends and book your next birthday party or girls' night out at the new Fat Tuesday Memphis, located at 8 South Main Street, where we get the party started. At Mountain Dew, we'd like to remind you that the world as we know it would not exist without the number zero. Which is why, at Mountain Dew, we'd like to recognize the number zero for making Mountain Dew Zero Sugar possible. Even with no sugar, it packs all of the bold citrus kick Dew Nation knows and loves. It's so good, you have no reason not to try it. As in zero. Get it? Crack open an ice-cold Mountain Dew Zero Sugar. It's zero sugar. All do. Welcome back to the Chris Vernon Show on YouTube at Grind City Media and the official Grind City Media app presented by Caesar Sportsbook. Now, back to your host, Chris Vernon. Microphone one, two, one, two. Pack the whole place out. Watch what I do. All right, we're back. Chris Varney. Show. Caesar Sportsbook. You can go to the App Store. You can type in Caesar Sportsbook, and you can download it for free. And you can use it legally in the state of Tennessee. Caesar Sportsbook. First bet is on them. You can get back up to $1,250 as a free bet if you don't win. Using the code VERNONFULL. VERNONFULL. Well, we got our numbers. All right, hold on, hold on. I'm going to guess because game I, ones. The only one I knew was the 550 from uh, for the Celtics because I heard that this morning. Um, I'll say the uh, – do you have series two? Yeah, I got series two. I'll say the Nuggets are slight faves. I'll say, I'll say m- minus 130. Minus one sixty five. Oh, bigger than I thought. The Lakers are game one. the Lakers are plus one forty. The line in game one. Okay, Caesar Sports. I'll say 
Nuggets, four and a half. Six. Oh. Six. Uh, Heat Celtics game one. At Boston. At Boston. I'll say higher than that. Seven. Eight. Damn. Oh. Dang. I think Bro, they're both too they high. They said that he'd have a 3% chance to win that series. I think they're both three? too high. Three. <laughs> Allen Iverson. The Heat have a 3% chance. I would not. They have way better. Way they better have way better than that. that. They are tough as hell. Dude, they are not going to do what Eric Philly Spolster, did. Bro. So saying, undrafted yeah. dudes, bro. Undrafted Eric Spolster dudes. They're tough, and, and they're they not, got Jimmy. And they're not going to crap their pants in game six and game six. They're, they're not going to do what <laughs> Philly did in game seven and just not be there for it. Like They they will be there. There's any series, Jimmy can be the best player. Yes. Oh, yeah. Even the one with Tatum. Yes. Mm-hmm. He was last year. Absolutely. He uh, almost did it himself last yeah, year. It's, it's the yeah. I, they it's call the him Hibby for a reason. They do call him what? I'm not the only one that's ever called him Hemi. They call him Hemi Butler. How do you feel about it being the, the rematch of the bubble? I think that's so funny. Isn't that weird? It is weird. The bubble, it's bubble weird. four, bubble final four. Yep. It's pretty cool. Hopefully, different results. Weird. Nah, let's get back to that. Ten ten things, ten Number things, six, ten what'd you watch? Things, All right, All right non sports. Let me hear it. Well, it's a podcast. Does that count? A podcast? Yeah. You don't watch a podcast, but okay. You did watch, you, you did watch, you watch it? Yeah, I watch the podcast. What? Uh, you know Thanasis Adesakumpo? Oh, my yes, God. Yes, I am. I have an awareness of Thanasis. This, my heart this, nemesis. this is like Kelsey, the time she told us. She's like, you, have you not heard Andre Drummond's podcast? I'm like, no, <laughs> we have not heard Andre Drummond's podcast. <laughs> I said Andre Drummond was one of the nicest guys in the league. You guys were like, what? You were like, how, who, who knows? It? You're like, who's doing this podcast? Thanasis Adesakumpo like, has a podcast, bro. He does? Does? Yeah, it's called the analysis. I saw the one with the analysis. Yeah, that is a okay, great I name. Like the name. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I was like bored Saturday night. I think Saturday night. Uh, and I was playing 2K, but I wanted to watch this podcast on my other TV. And his guest on there was Campaign with the Suns. Oh yeah. And uh, he told some pretty funny stories, but the one story that I thought was pretty cool was not that wasn't cool, but he when he played for the Bulls. Remember he got signed by the Bulls. And he was like, I signed with the Bulls, and I was like, yo, they wanted me to be the point guard of the future, or they wanted me to be the guy, blah, 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 blah. But then I got hurt. And he was like, I was going out all the time in Chicago. I was outside, like outside, outside. And he was like, he got a call from the GM, like middle of the season, and they said like, yo, you gotta stop going out, bro. Like, you gotta stop. We want you to chill. People see you out way too much. And he was like, okay, cool. He said that they had a holiday party, a New Year's party that people, everybody had, the company. He's there having a good time. But he, in this goes to the social media thing, he posted a photo on IG that said, New Year, New Me, like having fun at the New Year's party. He said the next day, his agent calls him, Bro, delete that photo. We just got, you just got waved by the Bulls. They waved him? Oh, uh, wow. And he oh said, my. Bro, they waved, he said, They told you to stop. So that, the, when, when we were talking about wow. earlier, I was like, Wow. I thought it was pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. He told the story on the pod. He was like, "Yeah, dude. Like I, the next day, January first, consequences. I get a phone call and they say, delete the photo. You just got waved by the Bulls." He's like, "Bro, I was like, I don't know. That's the part when I woke up and I was like, okay, I gotta take this shit serious because then he was out the league for two years. That's crazy. Before he got picked up again. So I heard I a, cool. uh, I heard a similar story to that on Andre Drummond's podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Great podcast. It's called uh, <laughs> Beat of a Different Drumming. It's called, uh, <laughs> off the Backboard. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Kelsey, what'd you watch? Um, I watched <laughs> Andre Drummond's podcast. I watched a bunch of episodes of Andre Drummond's <laughs> yeah, <if I> got... <laughs> Beat the Drummond. The Drummond. <laughs> What, what did you what did you watch? I watched Love and Death. What is that? It is a new show with Elizabeth Olsen, like the twins' little sister or older sister. I don't know. She's in a bunch of stuff. She is. Yeah, you would recognize her. Wait, Mary Kate and Ashley have a younger sister or older? I don't know which one she is. You would recognize. She's been in a whole lot of stuff. She's on Disney Channel. No. Um, Love and Death. Love and Death. Yeah. So, I, I uh, maybe last year or the year before there was a show that came out with Jessica Biel and it was like reenacting this actual thing that happened with this lady named Candy who killed her like lover's wife. Yeah, yeah, I remember it, her promoting it. Yeah, so it's the same it's the same story. Oh. So it's Is it I, good? I didn't realize it until I saw it. her name's Candy. It's a name that you remember. Um yeah, it's okay. It comes out every Thursday. 
but it's like, like I've watched the Jessica one so recently that it's kind of just like. Was the Jessica Biel one good? Yeah. It is good. Yeah. Mm. This one's good too, but like if you saw that one, then it's the same thing. She, she's yeah. in all the Avengers movies. Elizabeth Who is? Olsen? Oh, yeah. she is? Yeah, she's in a lot of stuff. Oh. oh yeah. You know uh, that Fast 10 comes out this week. You gonna go see that? No. They, they said oh. it is, this is the, the first, the start of the beginning of the end. This is the first part in a what was supposed to be a two-part finale of the series, but Vin Diesel has recently said the first in a three-part. I told you finale. guys, I, I, I when I saw that pre uh, when I saw that uh, trailer, I I was absolutely shocked to realize there were ten of those. My favorite <laughs> thing about the Fast movies, I would have guessed like six. Yeah, I, I remember Fast yeah, Five. Yeah. Oh, and I remember. Oh no, I would. I guess I would have said seven because I remember Fast Five, and then I remember they named one. That was like the same name as the first one, right? Hold on, wait. Hold on. It, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It they, like, yeah. or they just added the like yeah. the first one was Fast and the Furious, <laughs> and then they like the, the, Fast and the, the seventh one is like the Fast and the Furious. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or something like that. One of my favorite things. And I know about, there was the spinoff Hobbs and oh. whatever his yeah, name is. Or, Hobbs and Shaw. One of my favorite on. things about these movies is that. Like, Vin Diesel's just basically, like, it starts out like they're just illegal street racers. That's what they do. And then somehow we morph into, they're still illegal street racers, but when there's a giant criminal, inter- international uh, criminal enterprise going mm. on that is threatening the U.S. government, well, the U.S. government's got to call in the illegal street racers to oh, fix uh, it. <laughs> Bro, they, they, they really took the D off of one of them. The D. <laughs> they, they, the, so the first one was the Fast and Furious, and the fourth one was Fast and Furious. <laughs> See? Yeah. It oh, was Fast Five, Fast and Furious Six, Furious Seven, The Fate in the Furious, oh. F9, now we got Fast 10. As someone who regularly drives home after Grizzlies game, I am convinced that... This new Fast and the Furious is filmed on 2.40 at 10.30 p.m. <laughs> With all chargers? On, on weeknights. I would also <laughs> say... Uh, and I, I, my car is going to be in this movie <laughs> because those chokers race down 2.40. Um, I would, I'll be just like bobbing along, listening to a podcast, and all of a sudden I'll see a car driving 200 miles by me. And I'll be like, here's how it ends. Yep. And then there's another one on the... On the yes. far right side, yes. and they're just meow, they're, meow, they're, meow. yeah, it, it it's it, crazy. It also could be filmed that uh, I people believe people really race on two forty. Yes. Infinities and Chargers, Challenge. scary. Yeah, Challengers. drive out. I, I I could also say they they also might have filmed this at uh, Poplar and like Ridgeway, like right around there. Because I was on the street on Poplar. Well, I was over there Saturday morning at like seven forty-five a.m. <laughs> and I mean, there were about four cars like flying in and out of traffic. I was like, "What the hell?" At Poplar and Ridgeway? Yeah, I'm like, dude, it's seven forty-five on a Saturday morning. Where the you hell can't you? go fast. I'm like, where Poplar the hell are you trying to get? Will pop out. Yeah, yeah, yeah to that go. stretch of Poplar, you can't. You're not. You're not. We're not talking about. There's still only two lines. <laughs> yeah. Biocord, it's three. Is that where you go pick up the lousy three ass lines. wings? You it's sent those yesterday in the group chat. Bro, I cooked those. Those things were not lousy at all. I cooked those. <laughs> <laughs> man, it's, uh, it's three wings and a plate of carrots. That's so cat. It said, look at this meal. Like, it was It wasn't impressive. about the meal. It was about the wings. <laughs> it's about the like wings. these little dinky ass <laughs> wings. Dinky ass wings. Little... He sent me a picture of the wings. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> they were fire. The wings was dinky. Yeah, four, Y'all four, hate all four, you want. Four, four dinky wings and a bunch of carrots. <laughs> Y'all hate like, all you want. What is this meal? What is this meal? He was like, I just whipped this up. I'm like, what? Okay. Y'all can hate all you want, man. The wings were fire. <laughs> They'd be too spicy for you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> and I said you a plate of salmon, spinach, uh, tarasso. Uh, tarasso? Uh, Tiramisu? Nah, dude. Whatever that stuff was, I sent y'all. I sent you a real, <laughs> what is I sent you a real plate. He doesn't know. <laughs> I didn't cook it, so. <laughs> shrimp? Shrimp? Those shrimp, on, shrimp on the plate? That's all that. That's a real plate, bro. That was Mother's Day? Yeah. My girlfriend, chorizo? my t- chorizo, like a Mexican. Chur- oh, sausage, chorizo. Yeah, it's sausage. Chorizo. Yeah, it's a real meal, Rosie. Um, you should wait up, dog. Watch <laughs> Top Boy Summer House and Top Boy. It's on Netflix. Oh, Both of them are Top back. Boy. It's awesome. Show's Top freaking boy. amazing. Top Boy, you know. <laughs> yeah. So up, who's out the AK? Yeah. It's like I've been on the streets my entire life. I've never seen a AK forty-seven in my life. 
Oh my god, Rose are so hot with an accent. It's a freaking no, great it's not. show. <laughs> so don't, top Boy Summer House. Oh, oh my goons in Leeds. Oh gosh. Oh my, oh my goons in Suffolk. Ring with the bumper club. What you talking about, rude boy? <laughs> rude boy. Rude boy. Rude boy. You come up with them tings. Ting. Got them tings, rude boy. Oh man. He's never gonna stop. Yeah, yeah. No, you, you said never. he sounds hot when he talks like this. He's not gonna stop. Oh yeah. You Keep going, Rosie. No. Yeah. No. Number <laughs> seven. <laughs> <laughs> the Bryce Young pictures. Okay, so the job ja memes were funny. <laughs> oh my god. Bryce Young showing up to be the quarterback for the Carolina Panthers and him going to the huddle and then vanishing from the screen because he's so little. I thought that shit was photoshopped. <laughs> I'm like, there's no way he just disintegrates behind these humans. And in fact, he does. <laughs> He's like what? Like five He's, he looks five yeah. nine, five ten, a hundred and sixty pounds. It looks like a little kid. It really does. Bro, I wish I could see That's the videos. first time where I was like, I knew that people were like, Hey, size, you know, every time anybody bags on your size, they're like, What about Drew Brees? Like any like like there haven't been a hundred million six footers try to make it that all that have not thrown for ninety. He's that little yards. kid in the red? The little kid. Yeah, he's a little kid. Dude, the pictures from their like OTAs are the funniest thing ever. So, dude, and the, then the podium the subsequent memes. His head is the only thing you see behind the podium. <laughs> they're like, they're gonna have to get a smaller podium in Carolina. They're gonna the, like a stool. It's outrageous how little he is. He looks tiny, bro. Like like abnormally small. I just sent y'all the uh, the memes in the in the, With uh, the C V show chat. Yeah. Dude, the Dude, the picture of him meeting Brian Burns is also, I mean. What, but what about, like, that's what he looks like behind an NFL line? It really looks like a high school kid. Yeah. <laughs> he does look like a... It's crazy. It He's like taller than me. I, what, how, that's how, a lie. What no, does it say? Not, not it says 5'10". That's cap. That's a lie? That's cap. He for real might be... Five, Wait till you see this picture. Like, like y'all, I just it, sent y'all the memes. Y'all put it doesn't look. A, I mean, it, it, does, it doesn't even look real. I'm not kidding. I thought it was a joke. I thought somebody was like making a joke, like they do with Kyler Murray, yeah, where like, they make all these like little miniature, like mini figs, you know, out there yeah. or whatever. Kelsey so I thought it was photoshopped. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is. Click, click the next one. Click the next one. There's just no click way. Click the next one. Look at him. <laughs> Look at this when he lined up behind. What the? He's gone. He's gone. Look. <laughs> How is that possible? That man is not 5'10". Click the no. next one. Click the next one. They said that's when he gets sacked. <laughs> <laughs> that's how Cameron Jordan going to do him this year. That, <laughs> <laughs> come on. Why are you talking about that? Come on. <laughs> Go on, next one. Oh, 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 oh come oh, on. Not from L. They, they said this. They said that was Bryce Young. <laughs> when Frank Wright calls another half-egg screen. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Why do they do Bryce Young like this? <laughs> they should have some girl warm-ups. <laughs> oh, my that God. That's the one, yeah. But say it next to Brian Burns. Like, Kelsey, look at that. <laughs> they both said, like, wait, hey, those are two different humans. Like, that is... Bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's just his head sticking out over the podium. I mean, it says Brian Burns is 6'5". Yeah, Brian Burns oh, is huge. Steel. Come on, man. Oh, my gosh. Look at the microphone compared to his head. <laughs> Why'd they do that? Not the little <laughs> mic versus the big mic. <laughs> uh, I think I'm out on Bryce Young. You are? I can't take it. He's <laughs> too little, man. Yeah, he is a tiny dude, man. Wait, somebody get a sack him and didn't do this to him. They the, wore the him out, though. The podium is wild. They did him wrong. Oh, man. They, did him, right they, did, they did him wrong. Uh, number eight, PGA Championship, right? We got the PGA Championship. Is that going this up week? The, the Byron Nelson uh, well, just ended, right? And what, am I wrong on this? It's, uh, yeah, Oak Hill. It's this week? Huh? It is. I had no idea. It starts on Thursday at Oak Hill East. Um, so, yeah, we got the PGA Championship that is coming up later this week. Um, 
just had that uh, Byron Nelson over the weekend, but uh, got another major championship. That is, uh, Jason Day actually won this past weekend. So that's a big name that people certainly know. Um, there's not going to be uh, John Daly. John Daly has uh, uh, withdrawn from the PGA Championship. So it was always fun that he had the auto bid in there. And so he would play. But uh, there's not going to be a... Uh, there's not going to be a John Daly sighting uh, this year there. Um, a lot of the guys did not play this past week. Um, they did not play at the Byron Nelson. Uh, but for this upcoming week, the favorites, John Rahm, 7-1. Mm-hmm. to one. Yeah. Uh, Scotty Scheffler, 7-1. to one. Rory McIlroy, 11-1. to one. Patrick Cantlay, 18-1. to one. Brooks Kepka. 18 to 1. And then uh, you've got Justin Thomas, Dustin Johnson, Jason Day. I mean, look, this is great because now it's just like it, it does not feel like the Masters was that long ago. Yeah. And now we get to see all these guys playing, you know, in the same event again because yeah. those, those live guys are a part of this. Uh, Tony Finau's 25 to 1. Um, and then uh, Phil Mickelson. Who has been ranting and raving again? He is eighty-five to one. I kind of like Figala sixty-five to one. Sixty-five to one is pretty long odds, that's for sure. But anyway, yeah, it starts uh, this Thursday, the PGA Championship at uh, in uh, at Oak Hill, and so see, uh, this is easily the, my my least favorite of the four majors. But it is a major championship, yes. and you it bet, is the opportunity bet on for it? all these guys. Yeah, I'll bet on it. Yeah, oh, for sure, for sure. Yes, I'll bet on Brooks Kepka because I bet on Brooks Kepka to win every major. <laughs> Not bad idea. Number nine. Rest in peace, Doyle Brunson. Doyle Brunson is one of the reasons that poker got on like TV and became so famous. You would know him if you saw him. He's the old Texas guy. Right, then wrote all the books that a lot of guys read to get into it. Well, he passed away over the weekend. Interestingly enough, my son did not RIP him. I don't know if he knows him, he but know. do you know how famous you have to be for playing poker for me to have known like, known you? Like I probably, I mean, there's I can name poker players, I've seen those but of course you've seen him before. I've seen him. I had everybody, no idea his name. Everybody's seen that guy. That guy. Like as soon as you see him, he's the poker guy. He's that. Yes, he's the poker guy. Yeah. He's the poker guy. Yeah. And he wrote books, you know, about Texas Hold'em. So when Texas Hold'em became, he was kind of known as that guy, the Texas Hold'em guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's the game that became massively famous. And it became, like, you know, certainly post-college for me. I mean, that was on ESPN all the time. Mm-hmm. Poker became a big TV event. Kind of yes. took the world by storm. And then the whole Chris Moneymaker won it. And that made such a big deal. But, uh, yeah, Doyle Brunson, certainly, like, one of those – Guys that want, he was kind of, it's always interesting, right? It's one of those niche things. Yeah. But then he was that dude, and then when it gets on TV, it's like, oh, there's Doyle Brunton. And it's like makes for an amazing character. The old hardcore Texan who's amazing at this, who's written the books about it and whatever else. Like, he's legendary in that, for sure, as a professional poker player. Number nine, Matt Ryan's going to be an analyst. He, lo- he looks like he's perfect for it. That was number nine. That was number what nine. was? That was number nine. Oh, right it was? was number nine. Oh, okay, well, number right, nine and Doyle a half. Brunson, and I also want to mention Matt Ryan because Matt Ryan is going to be uh, an analyst for CBS. I figured he'd keep playing, right? How old? He's like, what, 35, 36? 38. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's time to go. Yeah, he's turned 38 on yeah, Wednesday. It's time, it's time but anyway, to go. he's going to be an analyst. I've always found him to be uh, – Rather likable guy. Matt Ryan's I hope like he's good. Yeah. I don't think anybody thinks he's good on about TV. Matt Ryan. Like, yeah, Matt Ryan. He won an MVP. He did win an MVP. Maybe he'll be good. I could see him being good. Yeah, he is. Yeah. I could see him being a he good He looks analyst. like a football Like, he is a football guy. He is. I could see him being good. Wow. Number 10 tonight. This is our uh, this is our only night without basketball, right? So, so catch up on whatever you want to. You watch a Raw. Uh, yeah, you can watch Raw, but there is no... Uh, Starting tomorrow, it's going to be every other day. And if you looked at the schedule, you will see 
Seven thirty every night. Seven thirty. Shouts to the NBA. Thank God. Oh, we got a game seven tonight. Oh, and NHL. Stars versus Kraken. Oh, let's go. Uh, Do it for Joe Newman Dyke Dallas. Do it for uh, Mike Mad- Madonna. Madonna. Mike, Mike Madonna. Madonna. Yeah, number and nine. And Andy Moog. Shout out to Andy Moog. So yeah, uh, Game for the seven stars. tonight on ESPN. That is ESPN tonight? Yep. Kraken versus, Kraken versus Stars? Yeah. yeah. Kraken. Yeah, game seven. Kraken Do is or die. a great name. It is a great name. It really is. Great logo, too. All right. So I guess I, yeah, I'll flip on a Game 7. I love yeah. Game 7 NHL. Love Game 7s. Yeah. Give me something to watch. Put some all, I'll continue to go down these memes and they'll have some fun with those. No. All right. That's going to do it for today. Thank you to Kelsey Wright Johnson. Thank you to Devin Walker. Thank you to John Rose across the glass. Oh, Thank you to Did you what? mention the Jaren thing? Jaren got nominated for that award? Yeah, we didn't talk about it. Oh, no. The good news. Number 11. The good news. Social uh, yeah. Justice Award? The Kareem Abdul-Jabbar Social Justice Champion Award. And then who, were, who is it uh, with? Uh, the award is with Steph Curry, Trey Jones. Oh. Uh, let me see who else is nominated for this award. I had the whole list at first. Let me, see, let me a second. I got you. Oh, Steph Curry, Chris Paul, Jaron Jackson Jr., Trey Jones, and Grant Williams are the uh, five finalists. Nice. So, that's a great that's, list. That's some good when news. When does that get announced? Uh, no, I don't know the date, but I can find out for you. Mm. But that's some good news, bro. Like, you know, all this bad news we've had. That's some Focus that's, on that. Focus on the good things. Trip. I swear it's to God, yesterday Haley said, I've still got Jaren. That's that's the way a lot of people feel. At least I still got Jaren. You know what I mean? Yeah. She and, loves Jaren, though. And Desky. I mean, she got a chance to meet him last year, and she told him, she goes, you're my favorite. And he goes, you're my favorite. You hear and that, it made all her little life. girls listening? It made her life. You hear the, yeah. It made her life, seriously. That's why Jaren's on this list. I don't, I don't you know, know like, if that's why. Not because he was nice to my daughter. <laughs> I mean, I no, just because he's like nice to that. A part of the, yeah, he's just nice to people. He is. He certainly. Yeah, nice. Jared was built for this. He is. I mean, he grew up around it. It's, uh, he's built for this. He's also not worldwide no, famous. No, he's not. He's he's not. not. Like, that's difference. the thing. Yes, he difference. absolutely is You don't is know not. if he's built for that. Yeah. Being built for that is a different deal. Because yes. there ain't many people that have that. You know, Jaren's famous. Hopefully, our guy gets through it. Hopefully, he does. Say a prayer for Twelfski. Go go double tap on Jaren's post. He just posted from Vernon's thing. Like and subscribe to Grind City Media on YouTube. Yeah, do all that. Download the app. Yeah. Download the app. Get the 15. I'm not kidding you. The app's amazing. You can just hit the YouTube link, and you can just play it in your car. Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay. You can watch all the podcasts It still plays, even when the screen goes out. It still plays. Let's go, Roser. It's just like listening to your radio. Company man. (laughs) I've already done my part, so you go ahead and wrap up the show. (laughs) You wear my (laughs) corporate polo. You haven't said your the final phrase. Go yeah, you didn't say your little the themes. The theme. You didn't say that yet. Yeah, I did. I, I thank everybody. No, you didn't say the last thing though. Yeah. We gone. There you go. Oh. <laughs>